Hi guys, Zoom is a big name in the video conferencing space, but many alternatives to Zoom have developed as a response to consumer demand, and it no longer leads the pack when it comes to features, functionality, or video quality. There are some excellent Zoom alternatives on the market. To help you find one, we've listed some of the best Zoom alternatives in no particular order. Watch on to learn more about these providers and find out which one will work best for your needs. So let's get started. The first one on the list is Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is a web conferencing and team collaboration platform best for teams using video conferencing platforms as their primary means of internal communication. Teams is designed to seamlessly work alongside other popular Microsoft Office tools like PowerPoint, OneDrive, SharePoint and Outlook. Video meeting features like participant lists, shareable meeting recordings and unlimited team chat file sharing are standard. Since anyone can access a Teams meeting without creating an account, it's the ideal platform for communicating with anyone outside your network. Besides hosting and attending live meetings, users can instantly transition from chat messaging to video and make or receive audio group and individual audio calls within the same dashboard. Recently, Teams added live meetings, translation and AI-powered ca caption stroke transcription, uniting international teams and clients. Teams has also completely redesigned its whiteboarding tool to add 41 pre-made templates, including brainstorming sessions, problem-solving meetings, project planning, design and team workshops. Teams has seen its greatest success in the healthcare and education industries, though it also works well for any fully remote workforce. And for the pricing, Microsoft Teams offers four plans, including one free version with paid versions ranging in price from $4 per user per month to $12.50 per user per month. Note the free version only allows for up to 100 participants to meet for a maximum of 60 minutes. However, there are some cons to using MS Teams. Alerts and notifications features need improvement. Current users complain of missed notifications. Some security protocols like advanced ransomware and phishing protection require a paid add-on. Quick note, my work supported by affiliate commissions, so if this video is helpful, you can find links in the description. If you click those links, I may earn a commission. That helps a lot. Thank you. Okay, let's, let's talk about Google Meet. Google Meet, an upgraded take on one of the earliest forms of video communication, Google Hangouts Meet, is a beginner-friendly video calling tool for businesses that only need occasional video communication and prioritize ease of use. Up to 250 internal and external participants can meet for a maximum of 24 hours. Users can join a Google Meet session in several ways. Via a shareable link, by clicking the New Meeting button on the Google Meet homepage, by entering an existing meeting code, or by scheduling an upcoming meeting directly in Google Calendar. Meetings can be joined directly at start time or while in progress. Although primarily used on desktop computers, Google Meet can also be accessed via the Android and iOS mobile apps. Users will need to create a free Google account in order to join or host a meeting. Google Meet offers basic team collaboration features within its activities in meeting chat tab. Hosts can create breakout sessions, polls, and start live Q&A sessions. One of the best Google Meet features is its whiteboard tool called a Jamboard. Users can choose different whiteboard backgrounds, upload images to the board, add text, create and pin sticky notes, insert pre-drawn shapes, and draw stroke write with the pen tool. Each Jamboard can be saved and shared. And for the pricing, Google Meet is free to use for up to 100 participants to meet for a maximum of one hour. The free plan also includes screen sharing, live closed captions, in-meeting chat, and two-step verification. Businesses that upgrade to the Workspace Individual Plan will have access to key Google Workspace tools like Google Docs, Google Drive, Gmail, and more within the Google Meet interface. Enterprise-level companies can upgrade to the highest tier. Google Workspace editions of Meet come with a 14-day free trial. There are some cons to using Google Meet. Users can't share docs directly in the meeting live chat. They can only share through Google Doc links. Google Workspace users can't disable meeting chat on video calls. Next we have Discord. Although its main audience is gamers, Discord is a robust communications program that may serve as a suitable substitute for Zoom. Even if you have no interest in video games, if you want to start a community and provide a place for your friends to meet and socialize, 
then Discord is a great choice. Discord servers are invite only. So regulating who may participate in conversation is simple. The platform also enables audio and video chat. There is also a premium service for Discord called Nitro. With this update, you may make high definition video conversations, send and receive large files, enhance your emoticons and profile photographs and show your support for the servers of your choice. While it's true this software is not a direct competitor to Zoom, it's worth looking into since it's fun and easy to use communications platform that's perfect for fostering a closed group. Next we have Slack. Popular for its instant messaging capabilities, Slack also offers several solutions to communicate through voice and video. If you're looking for Zoom room alternatives, then Slack is a fantastic option. You can create live audio chats on huddles for instantaneous brainstorming. Even better, you may record your screen to demonstrate the features of your app to potential employees. The video conferencing feature in Slack are less advanced than those offered by competitors. However, if you only need a basic corporate messaging service, then go for Slack, which offers all the essentials. Next, we have Cisco WebEx. WebEx is a leading corporate video conferencing platform with a strong track record in executive settings. The platform lets you make crystal clear phone conversations, host video conferences, and use an instant messaging service with enhanced collaboration options. The WebEx app can improve your meetings with slideshows, emojis, background noise elimination, and real-time translation. The WebEx suite includes all the app's functions and options for holding virtual events, employee surveys, simple staff administration. In addition, WebEx has enterprise-grade security and is compatible with more than 100 third-party applications. You can use Cisco's conferencing software at no cost for meetings of up to 100 participants, lasting up to 40 minutes. The paid starter business and enterprise packages offer additional capabilities, including longer calls and more attendees. So, as you can see, Zoom isn't the only app out there. There are plenty of others, even beyond what we've listed here today. Some have features similar to Zoom's, others have a completely different set of features and functions. Like I said earlier, my work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if this video was helpful, you can check the links in the description, and that helps a lot. Thank you. The point of this video isn't to force you to use something other than Zoom, it's to consider the other options out there. For some companies, sticking with what's familiar might be worth it, but for others, switching to a new alternative with tools that better suit their needs and goals can help them build their business presence faster. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. If it helped you out, uh, leave a comment please and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.